Hey guys, what's up? My name is Andre Babon, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving tips for incoming froshies in Benilde Antipolo. So before we start jumping into this video, click the subscribe button. I'd just like to disclaim that I'm no expert in giving tips. All the following tips that I'm gonna be giving to you is purely based on my experiences in Benilde Antipolo. I mean, who knows, these tips may apply to you or not, so feel free to comment down below what you think I've missed if ever you get into Benilde Antipolo. And don't forget to subscribe! So without further ado, here are some tips for you future Benildians. Tip number one, take it easy. Let's start off from the beginning, getting into Benilde Antipolo. First of all, froshies are required to take the B test. Frosh meaning fresh out of senior high school. And B stands for Benildian Entrance Examination. Now I know that some of you may be watching this video about to take your B test. Well, I have one thing to tell you. Just take it easy. There's really nothing to stress about. I know the pressure of getting into college life. And maybe you don't even have time to review for the B test. Maybe you're busy doing other things. Or maybe you just don't feel like studying. But trust me when I say this. It's most just basic high school knowledge. You've already passed high school and even graduated high school. If you pass that, then you'll be able to pass the B test. Then again, unless you cheated and didn't actually pass high school. But you get the point, just, just take it easy. Tip number two, make connections. I'd like to call this one the CCC. Connect, communicate, and cooperate. Okay. So let's say you finally got into Benil Antipolo. Now what? Well, your blockmates and your professors, they're all family now. You guys are all family. It's not something you get to choose, but rather something that is given to you. Something that just happens. And you have to be really thankful for that. I myself am happy to have met these people. So the first day of class, what do you do? Well, don't just stand there like I did. Talk. Just keep talking but not too much. You have to interact with your blockmates, your professors, because in the long run, it would be beneficial to all of you. You don't have to worry about missing an assignment or an activity because your blockmates have got your back. Also remember to help them back whenever they are in need of help. After all, they're your family now. Tip number three, always bring a jacket. So this is one of the based on experience tips that I was talking about. Unlike high school, where you only have 45 minutes, in college it would take an hour and 30 minutes just for one class. Well, it isn't really that bad if you think about it. But based on my experience, you would freeze to death. I advise you froshies to always bring a jacket whenever you go to class because it could get really cold and really chilly in there. <laughs> Trust me, I've been there. Although it doesn't mean you have to wear heavy clothing all the time, the moment you step out of that class, take your jacket off because you're gone sweat like hell from all the heat. I am drenched with my own sweat and it feels like I'm taking a bath all over again. I also advise you guys to wear jackets that could be easily worn and taken off. I do not recommend hoodies. I know all the hoodie lovers out there are going to disagree with me, but it's just my advice. It's up to you whether you like to wear hoodies or not. Tip number four. Time and sleep. Here in Benilde Antipolo, there's gonna be a lot of activities, events, social gatherings, seminars, and the like. Such events may conflict with your schoolwork and may take up a lot of your time, specifically your sleep time. That is why it is important to manage your sleep time. Tip number five, have fun, but not too much fun. Like I said earlier, there's gonna be a lot of activities and events in Benil Antipolo which are gonna be really amazing and enjoyable. And the best way to savor those moments or scenarios is to simply just have fun. Have fun but try not to get too carried away. Know your limits, know your work, and know your purpose as well. Cause after all, hard work really does pay off. Okay, so here's a quick recap. Tip number one. Take it easy, don't stress about the entrance exam because trust me, there are a lot of other things to be stressed about. Tip number two, make connections. Connect, communicate, and cooperate. Simply just make friends. Your blockmates are your family now. Tip number three, bring a jacket that could easily be worn or taken off because it could either be hot or cold within that particular day. Tip number four, manage your time, especially your sleep time. And tip number five is have fun, but not too much fun. So those are the tips I was able to come up with as an irregular student. 
To be honest, I'm so proud of being able to enter this university and being part of the Benilian family. From being born and raised in an abroad country, Libya, to being a communication arts student in Benil Antipolo. Once you're a Benilian like me, feel free to go back to this video and comment down anything I've missed or anything you'd like to add. Perhaps you can even make your own vlog and come up with your own tips. Who knows? So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like this video, comment down below, and if I helped in any way, do share it to other people if you think it might help them. Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell.